Welcome to Big Oz Explorers. We've been touring in a caravan for over a year now and have learned a lot about how to manage in a tiny home while traveling around Australia. I'm Sean, and this is Chris, and our kids, Jada and Jack. Follow our family and live van life through our eyes while we take you on the trip of a lifetime around Australia's hotspots. Click the subscribe button to join our adventure every Thursday and stay up to date with everything Big Oz. G'day guys, we are finally on the road, we've left room, we've got everything we needed and sorted and we are now back to normal. <laughs> we just pulled up a little free camp outside of Broome just to do a dump point, drop some grey water and stuff and then we'll be on our way to Winjana. So we're going to Winjana and Tunnel Creek. Uh, pretty excited about that, we didn't do that on the way back uh, from coming down south. So basically this whole trip that we're going to do for the next month or two is go back up through the Kimberley, back through sort of Fitzroy and Halls Creek and do like, what are we doing, Wolf Creek Crater, Bunga Bungles, going back to Kununurra, catching up with some family, taking some things off up there and then come back down through the Gibb. So we've got a fair few things still to do. The only reason that we uh, didn't get to do those things last time was because it was such a late wet last time we were there. So it was just a really good excuse to kill some time and come back and do all these things. So when we head back down south, it should be a lot bloody warmer. Really happy about it. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. We're going to jump in the car real soon and get the kids ready and then we're going to punch out. I think it's about a five hour drive, so a bit of a big day today. And uh, it's the joys of being on the road, eh? driven about two hours up the road from that free camp where we stopped and we've got to the prison tree in Derby. So we'll just stop so the kids can have a run around however Jack it's still massive. wants to be held. Oh he's been very needy today. Oh he does my head in at the moment. He's a screamer lately. Very 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 loud and I almost feel embarrassed being at Caravan Parks because it's that loud. Yeah we choose sites that are really far away or just free camp so that people don't have to hear. <laughs> yes. That bad. Yeah, we just come to the prison tree, just reading up us on the history. You know, us as white people, we weren't very nice to Aboriginals back in the day. And in ways I understand why they get grumpy with us. So, yeah, this is a significant place because all the prisoned Aboriginals that were being taken to the jail closer to the water would often stop here overnight. Hmm. About 140 odd years ago. So, yeah. Some rich history around, which is pretty cool. Mm. We love our history. Um, this tree in particular, judging by what I learned when we're at El Questro, that's probably a good couple of thousand years old, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 we lost the tripod. <laughs> yeah, you get it. So it's a big tree. You used to be able to go and actually look around it and go up and walk inside because there's a big gap in between, but they've blocked it off now uh, for aboriginal heritage reasons but also i guess you know people go in there and they scratch all their names in like you can see all the scratchings on the tree at the moment and that's just you know people disrespecting it in a sense so yeah. unfortunately we can't go in and have a look inside but we can have a good look at it what exactly is that that's how jack runs i need a close-up of jack running now like he's, he's, he rides horses he's got the the boat hip for it. <laughs> I go back and forth. Here we go, see if you'll run. Go run, run no, to the no, car! No, no, no. You're gonna get a get you! Uh, <laughs> oh, he's not doing it, is it? He must be one of like a slow pace. <laughs> Winjana, we're at the actual entrance of it. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but there are some really cool ranges in behind there. It reminds us of Chiligo. It's that type of rock. It's pretty cool. Um, road in here into the National Park is pretty average. I would give it probably a, a 6 out of 10, maybe a 5. Um, <laughs> so because it's just really corrugated. It's obviously been driven quite a fair bit and hasn't been maintained. And uh, we've just pulled into the Sinean Bay. This is us here. 
we have already booked online so we can drive straight in but I thought I'd give you a bit of a, a look around most of them are all the same I've got a bit of info, information there for you maps things you can do the prices all that sort of jazz get a little sign in book too for good old COVID and yeah you got visitor passes and stuff you can sign up grab one of those chuck it in the in the hole there and yeah that's it Go in and check it out and see what uh, see what we can find. Eh? That's pretty bloody nice so far. Whoa! <laughs> you ready? <gasps> Apples. Oh, yum. Num num. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we've done a few little DIY adjustments to this door because we're still having very slightly and I mean slightly issues with dust with this door but I think we're pretty much onto something now and I reckon we've got it sussed but we don't like to say it until it's proven and tested and then we'll come at you with full results but it's looking pretty promising Sean's actually been spending she spent like the whole entire time since we set up Mom. sorting out the door but um, we've got some of this foam stuff and it's got like a sticky side on one there. You peel that off and it's just <laughs> a sticky bit there and then you got and then you got foam there too, so available from Bunnings like five dollars a pack. Yeah, they're cheap as five meters a pack. Yeah. So thanks Jack for interrupting. What did you if you can see, there's a little foam strip there. So it goes right the way up over and around. Pretty much the whole door. Can you show the difference between the dust and no dust? Yeah, I was just about to. So you can see, you can see here we got two strips going on. So the outside strip's got the dust, and the inside strip doesn't. So that's where the dust is getting. And this is probably one of our biggest problem corners here and at the top up there as well. But at the moment, we're doing another strip on top of it, and then we're going to look at the outside door. And Sean's just putting on a little bit behind there. And then I reckon, I reckon we'll be on to, onto something there for sure. So for those of you that say as well, why didn't you just get the Harifan? We've been remote for that many months and everyone's booked out because all the mo nomads it's are where we are. Not it's not to do money. It's not because we don't want to. But you know what, if I can fix it, in the meantime, I'll fix it, but if we don't, we don't. And we probably still will end up with a caravan after all of this. Like, you never know. Yeah, well, but at the end of the day, as like... As well as it, this $5 fix is all it took, you well, know? you couldn't even tell that there's foam on there right now. Because it's black, it blends in, but then it's it looks like it's almost meant to be there anyway. But the fact that you can just put a bit of that around... Sorry, mate, I'm going to open the door. Yep. The fact that you can put a $5 strip of foam around your door seals around each layer there can stop all the dust coming out. That's still today our only dust issue is this door. So just to throw it out there I've cleaned all of the dust off this entirely so the door is totally clean at the moment. I've cleaned all the seals, I've cleaned everything so the last trip we did I was able to see the little bit of dust that was on this bottom corner so I know it's only this bottom corner and I've cleaned it again now so the next drive we do when we leave this gorge I will know if this has worked or not. Yeah. It's going to be that easy. Oh, Dad. So the fact that it's so busy on the road, everyone's flat out with any type of business, I think this has pushed us to try and find solutions. All right, mate. Pushed us to find solutions on how to just fix what we already have. And we're normally pretty good at that because we like our DIY. We like to try and solve problems and find better ways to do things and this is a perfect example of that if we can come up with the ultimate cheapest easiest solution five dollar hack. hack to fix your door what type of door is it again an atrv an atrv aussie traveler atrv aussie traveler i don't know how common they are but they seem like they they're pretty popular but to find a solution for that so you don't spend hundreds of dollars on a caravan or a Dometic fan inside. What a great saving. That's an awesome saving. So but we're working on it. As well, we just saw a locksmith. So this door has, the other thing that's been going on with this door, um, 
the lock was giving us a little bit of grief and that's been a problem since probably the cape. Oh. Oh. oh, don't get your finger. No, he held his hand on here and then you... Yeah, so it would have got his finger. He's got to learn that he can just push that down. Yeah. Well, you don't push that down, it? Oh, uh, from the inside. You push down over. No, down. Look, lock set. Watch. Up. Oh, you got to go. Okay. Um, anyway, so the other thing about this door is that the actual lock itself has given us some grief. Um, that's been ongoing since the Cape and initially we thought it was dust and whatever else, but it seems just over time it's just worn. So we've had the locks replaced. It only cost us, what, $215? Uh, just over 200 bucks, yeah. Yeah, so 200 bucks. That was, that was for a mobile guy to come out and do it for us yeah. on site, which was pretty good. So we changed all the lock fittings and everything with the labour of that, 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, so the lock itself is totally perfect. It's locking, it's sealing, it's doing everything it's supposed to do. It's just that little bit of dust. Um, yeah. But yeah, in, in all honesty, I mean, if you're building a caravan, you have a choice between a brand of doors. I wouldn't choose an ATRV door. No, we've been hearing a lot of things, mm. especially the guy that came out and did the actual door. He said, he said Dometic. they're not amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he said Dometic's actually right up there. That's yeah. He hasn't had any calls for anything to come out and check them out. The Dometic doors with round corners on top and bottom. Yeah. So he seems to say that's a big call from someone that yeah. like deals with these kind of doors He's been and for years. caravan doors all the time. So yeah. that's a good good uh, review from his end. So, so with you. we've had we've had some steak and recently, and it's become a bit of a bit of a thing to have some rub on it. We got this one from Woolies, didn't we? Yeah, so it's similar to the one we had. The other one was a low and slow. Smoky, I think it was. Was it McCormick's? Yeah, same brand, just a different flavour. So Woolies <laughs> does some really good rubs that we've now found out. I'd never thought of doing rubs until we sort of, I don't know, we, we stumbled across it, didn't we? I just saw it and I was like, oh. I was like, why try? not? And then we had, a, we had some. And they're really good. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. We need some more of this. And then we've, I think it's... Slowly going to become this is something. The third time. Your third time. Well, there you go. That's a perfect example of how good rubs are. So it literally takes like three seconds. You can just put your meat out, throw some rub on, pat it on, and away you go. So I'm about to put these on the grill real quick. I've already got the potatoes on. They're not far off, and we're gonna have some salad tonight. Uh, this is a bit of a staple for us now, as we do some sort of meat or a chicken or whatever, and a bit of salad on the side. And potatoes have just now become. A really big thing. They've been a big thing for you always as a kid. Potatoes are like potatoes are like well, she's been deemed the potato queen. So that pretty much explains how much she loves potatoes. If you really watched us from the beginning, you would have known that I. You would understand. To that. Yes. <laughs> Once upon a time. And then, there, early and days. then there's the little potato queen too, and then I'm slowly becoming potato 2.0. king. Yeah. Oh, King, you yeah, call it? Well, I'm, I'm almost calling because wow. there's more times now that I've wanted a potato than I've ever wanted in my entire life. So I used to suggest. I blame her. I used to suggest, oh, let's have a potato on the side. And he's like. It took me some time because I wasn't big on potatoes, but now that it's become almost a staple. It's the healthiest version of carbs that surely you can have, like in a potato form anyway. Like chips are deep naturally, fried. Naturally, yeah. Big what time. other ways? Mash has butter and everything else. You're a potato. Yeah. Well, don't say that. You put butter in it. In lots Still of Still healthier <laughs> than deep prime chips. Yeah. So we rocked up today. We've got a couple of vans that have rocked up probably just after us. And they're, they're big fans of what we're doing. Um, they come over and had a bit of a chat. They've gone and taken the uh, gorge walk. And they, they took Jade along for the walk too. So that was a walk, actually. Was it good? Yeah, it was actually really nice. So... We came from, there were crocodiles, and then we went a little five minutes further, and then we saw people, and they went right to the end, and it's five k's away. How many crocodiles so, do you see? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen freshwater crocs. <laughs> Not salt water, freshwater, yeah. but pretty impressive. We're like, what? we got to go and check this out. So. so, can I actually just throw it out there too? So, the friend that Jade has made, her name's Harper. Shout out to Harper and her family. 
Hmm. Hi. I was getting there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I took it away from you. Sorry. Me. Anyway, so the families, well, the two families over here have taken Jada out for a bit of a walk this afternoon. We're going to head over there after having a dinner, uh, put Jack to bed. We'll take Jada over, have a bit of a shindig, a few drinks and stuff. But again, what I'm trying to get at, it's just really cool. If you follow us and you support us, don't be afraid to come up and say hey. We've met some really awesome people on the road, and it's really, it's just, it's... We're just like you. We're we are, no we're just... We're just because just we do videos doesn't mean that we're any we're, different. We're, 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 come say hi. Yeah, we're no, no more special than the next person that rocks Our up next to you, you have no idea about. just as much as yours. Oh. We argue just as much as you. Everything's the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just we're just, say, hey. we're just a normal Aussie couple doing a lap, and... We just happen to do videos. Yes. We, people know us for a certain thing. Jack just uh, fell over. So this is his bedtime, and it's normally like nothing goes right now. He's been pretty good this afternoon after that terrible car ride today. But um, I'm not going to stretch out any longer. We're going to put him to bed, we're going to have a bit of dinner, and then we're going to wrap it up tonight, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning because we're going to do a gorge walk or we're going to Tunnel Creek. So I'm very excited about that. Where is he going? Well, I wonder how this picture's going to turn out because it's like all yellow lighting. Is it going to be curious. awesome or not so awesome? So that's where we're at. Jacob potatoes, steak and salad. So these potatoes here as well with the whole shiny side in. Yeah. Who told yeah, you shiny that? Yeah. Shiny side out. Shiny side out. I thought it was in. Have a look at them. Okay, so who taught us that? No, show me something in. So we did them wrong. But who taught us that? Do you remember? Yeah, One of you were in charge of the potatoes. What did you do? Oh, so <laughs> potatoes. This is supposed. This is supposed this. Potatoes are supposed to be shiny side in. Yes. And we learned that from a YouTube follower. And it actually does make a difference. It's a very small difference, but it makes a difference. It's all about making a difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like, having that shiny side out, like, do the opposite of what everything you've ever known about alcohol, and it works a treat. Shiny side out? I thought it was shiny side in. Shiny side in, yes. You just said shiny side out. Yeah, I know, but then I corrected myself and said oh shiny side out. Oh my god, in. I'm going to put it down the bottom. This is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Can you tell we've had a few beers and drinks this afternoon? Oh, we need dinner. <laughs> this is what we're cooking. <laughs> Here we go. Big old juicy steak. A couple of jack of tattoos, a bit of salad. Joe's got the uh, mozzarella burger. Sean's got the same. So we're finally going for a walk. It's about what, 2.30 in the afternoon. So in normal style we like to do things at the wrong time of the day. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing going this time of the afternoon. Yeah. Normally it's the hottest but, time um, of the day. But... I was take my sunnies <laughs> off. So uh, Jack at the moment he tends to sleep between about 10 or 11 and when he's in the caravan he can go from like probably one to two hours. So that obviously takes us through to the other side of the day. Then everyone's ready for some lunch. And then before you know it, most of the day is gone. Yeah. And we end up doing things in the afternoon. So you would have seen behind us before, that's where our caravan is. And there's a little walkthrough. Yeah. Oh, we've got a stack. Yeah. Show me your knees. Oh, is, it, is there blood? A little grey, isn't there? Oh, I think that's his proper first, like, knee grey stack. <laughs> Aww. He only just left and he's already in the wards. Like a matter of seconds. Oh, right. So yeah, what I was saying is when I first started recording, that's where our caravan is and there's a little walkway from the camp area that then comes through to the day use area and then the pathway that takes you all the way into the gorge is there. So it's only a couple of seconds away if um, you do camp here. Have you seen a cane toad? What's that all about? What's the go? If you find a cane toad, you put it in here. You put it in there? Yep. Oh, no one's found any then. I saw one yesterday. Why do you collect them? Just in case 
so then the crocodiles don't hurt themselves because if the crocodiles eat one, they can die. Mm. So cane toads were introduced into Australia initially to help with insects in cane farms, hence the name cane toad. And now they've just gone crazy throughout the com throughout the company, throughout the country, and they kill everything. They're really poisonous. They're not good. They're and pretty I'm gross bring too. Bring some gloves just in case we mm. find one. And if you ever find one and pick it up, they usually weed on you. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Once my mum got weed on by a um, toad. Yeah. A little baby one. All these big rocks here. We were saying when we first arrived, because you see that when you first drive in, it reminds us of Chiligo. Except much larger. So one kilometre return is a savannah walk. Two kilometre return, the time walk. Seven or seven down. return, four hours, the gorge trail. Oh, so that goes like right into the actual gorge. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That would be insane. So I think what we're doing is this here, the two kilometre return. So we're going to go into the gorge and into like where the gap is. Yeah. And then come back out again. Well, we're going to attempt to. Yeah. Provided that everyone's okay with walking. Well, AKA. Everybody, it's... Jack. Somebody. Yes. <laughs> we will see. Yeah. This is Jada's new water pack from Denali, which is available at Anaconda. So if you want one, just have a look at the link up in the top left or in the description. So she used to carry her water bottles all the time. Like me, I'm carrying my water bottle. And she used to get grumpy and she's like, oh, I don't want to carry this. I don't want to hold it. I need my hands. And this is fix that. Plus, she gets an extra 250 mils. So her old one was 750 mils. This is a litre. Is it heavy? No. Is it, it, it feels like half of one of them. Half a water bottle? Mm -hmm. Well, it's double a water bottle, so that's pretty good. But yeah, so so far she's enjoying that. She's got a camera on the it front as well. Like so it's like looks... a, the weight of a baby puppy. Mm -hmm. So she looks like a right little hiker now with a water backpack and camera on the front. <laughs> well done, Jack. Dad's turn. Can he do as well? It's pretty cool. It looks like there's a light about halfway, but it's just natural. Yeah, it's like another crack or hole. Definitely like chili guys. Yeah. I'm probably going to say that way too many times. I'll have to edit them out. On this tour. <laughs> come on, come here. Or we can turn it into a drinking game. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I say chili game, you have to have a drink. <laughs> uh oh. Back in croc country. Just when we thought we got away. Yeah. What's that, Jack? Careful. Oh, I just took a video of going in. Really? This is Jada's new thing. She's got a camera now. A spider on my head. I walked through a spider web. No, I can't see one. Nope, you're all good. Um, yeah, her new thing is her camera. So she's been starting to do her own photos, which is kind of cool. So I'll help her download them all on her iPad so she can see her own memories. All these big walls. It's full on. It almost looks fake. Just keeps going up too. Um, uh, uh, Dramatic um, Porridge shared the Devonian. divinal Devonian sea with a variety of primeval, primeval marine life forms. Some are fossilized here within the reef. Can you find the fossilized Nate Eloid? Nat Nataloid, I think. Nataloid. Yeah, I thought it was. There. Oh, I reckon you might be right. That looks like something. Um, and then my friend thought it was up there. There's like a bean shape. Oh, yeah. So, just there. Um. But, I don't know. But I thought it was that one. Because it looks like it's the top of a shell. What's this? Can you see what they're looking at? So it turns out that so far, this is a really, really good time to walk because 
sun's gone down far enough behind that rock that everything here is shaded. So it's actually really cool. Like it was hotter at the campsite. Like I'd almost come in here to stay cool or just watch him, babe. Oh, Jack, Jesus. I'll tell you what he says is shite out of me. Jack, sit down. That's better. Now looking at a, another freshwater crop just over the other side there. I don't know that you'd be able to see it. But if you can, it's like kind of here. It's that soft, it's shoes off, is it? Oh yeah. Bloody nice is this. Mm -hmm. I definitely was not expecting anything like this. No, neither. Got the chili go back backdrop. There's another drink. <laughs> all the water, lagoon, the crocs. And then it just opens right up. It's stunning. What'd you find? Oh, thank you. Special jackstone. So we're just getting to pretty much the end of the beach. And down here there's heaps of crocs. It's full on. Have you counted them? We're all just sitting there chilling. One, out. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I see a twelve there. Wow. They must like this bit, the stagnant bit. Yeah. So that walk from the caravan park up to that big open area that we we're just in, it's actually really easy. Like almost anybody could do it. The elderly to have no dramas with it. If anything, it's probably a little bit sandy at certain spots, but take your thongs off or your shoes off so I uh, walk through there and yeah pretty easy and all the way along it get, just follows this little river system right the way along and it's stunning like this is a good time of the afternoon too it's not too hot but um I think we just jagged the the early bird ticket because just as we we're coming back there was a lot more people coming in so definitely an afternoon thing but probably early afternoon about that two o'clock sort of mark probably even a little bit early you could probably do it as well but uh, it just means that sun's behind that big cliff face and you're not getting smashed with the heat because it was pretty hot there this afternoon so nice little hot tip there but yeah walk in is really easy let me try that there's some more here if you want more homemade nachos Mom. Mom. hey it's been a long Mom. time since we had these quick and easy tonight we had a very terrible late night last night, or Sean did. Mom? Jack was being pretty terrible. Well, he has been for the last few days, if not a week. Yeah, but it's because we've changed his bed. Yeah, it is. I'll actually show you. I don't think we've mentioned this yet. It'll pass. It's just a stage, and unfortunately. So this is Jack's new bed. We've actually gotten uh -huh. rid of... This is we've actually gotten rid of... The cage, well, not a cage, that sounds really bad. The mesh that was here, so we've taken that off, but we've left it on the other side here. I'll just turn this on. There it is. So we had that mesh, as most of you know. We left it on that side just to protect that window a bit. You just kick a fair bit on there. But then we've put the little gate on there now. So not only has he got all this room here, and then he's got gaps here and here. And then he's got this massive gap at the back there. He hasn't been too bad, considering it's been only, what, a few days now? Yeah. So he used to be notorious for having any little gap and he'd poke his dummy out. And as soon as that hits the floor, we all know within about five seconds, he's awake and he's about to scream the house down until he gets that back and it becomes a bit of a game. So we ended up having to duct tape all these holes here 
You've probably seen him, seen him in early episodes. We duct taped the hell out of both of them just so he couldn't throw his dummy out because he would do it like 10 times a night. It was just ridiculous. Getting really old. Yeah, it was, we're totally, totally getting over it. Um, but in saying that, he's actually been pretty good with his setup. This is our secret sauce. I don't know. Sriracha or jalapeno. Oh, I don't know. I'll go to, go to the Mexican. Jalapeno? Yeah, that one. So I've got some leftover salad from dinner last night. A bit of chicken, a bit of salsa, cheese, corn chips. And we splashed out and did a bit of halloumi. Not bad, look at that. Now that is a meal. Who said you can't eat well on the road? Homemade. So we've left Winjana Gorge this morning and we're heading down the road now to check out Tunnel Creek. Uh, we're just going to do a day trip there and then continue on to Fitzroy because there's a few uh, good free camps around there that we've heard about that we want to go check out. So yeah, the road isn't too bad. It's corrugated and it's bumpy in places and that has definitely seen better. But I think most of the tourist routes that look like this type of road is going to be the same at the moment because there's so many people up here. So we're just going to do some droning, show you the area and then we'll be on to Tunnel Creek. car is in one piece which is a good start however my parking could be maybe improved it's like a tiny bit on an angle but I couldn't really hook it anymore oh well at least I'm in the line as you can see can you see that bit of foam in there that's the stuff that we put in look how dusty everything else is so that foam has got all the dust on it goes all the way around the door you can even see it here it's like in the gap and it's all red so I really want to see what it's like inside are we ready Moment of truth. Oh, it's a lot better. Really? Yeah. It's an improvement. I think if this was a slightly thicker foam, it'd be perfect. But otherwise, it's still better. It's just, it's just, can you see that there? It's like just this little bit that comes in on that corner. Well, the top's completely clean. Like that was the other issue too, was the top corner. The top is perfect. Awesome. So, just that bottom corner still. I just think if we get a bit of this foam that's a bit thicker, everything will be fine. Yeah, a bit more It'll be, rather than a $5 hack, it'll be a $10 hack. <laughs> that's all right, I can handle it's that. It's a pretty good start. <laughs> yeah. $5, $10, it's yeah. not $50 or $100. Exactly. Yeah. We're at Tunnel Creek. Um, we're gonna go and have a look at the lookout, definitely. Wow. I know there's a lookout. And then for the creek itself, we've been told by people it's about 10, no, it's 10 it's meters 10 that you have to in. swim. But it's deeper than we can even stand in. So yeah, a lot of people, people are choosing not to. They have to swim through and they can't touch the bottom. So it's quite deep at the moment. Uh, Normally you wade, but this is like proper swim. And yeah, it'll be cold. And it'll be freezing. But um, there's jackets, been not ideal. siding of freshies in there as well. Mm. Which aren't too much a concern, but... I'm not worried about the cross. It's yeah. more just the cold, the swimming, the yeah. moving on the road. We've still got two hour drive ahead of us today. So That's right. We'll at least go in and have a look at that side of the water. Yeah, I'm curious to see what it looks like. I'm sure you guys are curious to have a look as well. So we'll go in and have yeah. a look at the tunnel and uh, the lookout and a few different things that they got on offer here. 
and yeah, go from there, I guess. Because the other thing too, if you've got little kids and you did want to swim this, uh, what we've heard people do is use a floaty. Mm. So they just put their kid in the floaty and they and swim across with their along. kid in the floaty yeah. <laughs> and then get out on the other side and keep walking. So, I mean, it's doable, but it's just yeah. up to you. It's whether yeah. you feel like doing it or not. Personal uh, choice, that one. Personal, personal preference. Yeah. Who's getting an arm workout today? <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Because like Jack everywhere we go, like does not want to walk. He can still walk and he wants to, not very often. He just chooses not to. Like 90% of the time, so it's like a carry. Oh, he will walk once we get there, I reckon. <laughs> want it. Mom. Carry me, Mum. He's normally ready for a snooze. That's probably about half an hour. In the middle of every day. So he's not really going to be too keen on walking. Hey, that's my nipple. <laughs> the thing about pinching my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how far is it? That's Tunnel View meter. Trail, yeah. 400 meters, and yeah, subterranean actual, tunnel, two kilometers tunnel. return. So one kilometer in. Yeah. Oh, have you got Jack? You got your light. And Jade has got one as well. I don't think we're gonna need them, but hey, you never know. And I also got my camera. Yeah, just in case you want to get some photos. Yeah, and some gloves. Yep. Just so that I don't touch the cable. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you love your light. Oh. Are you ready for the dark tunnel? Yeah. Which of the tunnel is at your own risk? Slippery rocks, freshwater crocs, limestone, deep water. Mm. She'll be wrong. No, did you go through this gate? It's your fault. What are you doing, Jack? It's a plant, yeah. Oops! Makes you wonder how far people came, hey? Yeah. It's pretty easy for me getting through here because it's really well, pretty much that tiny bit of rock clamber you saw, it's probably how many meters, do you reckon? 20 meters? Well, that little bit of rock there? Yeah, not even. Like, yeah, 20 meters. If that. But with a couple of boulders to go over. Oh, it's a little you, bit of a step you get down. To here, it'd be fine. And then it's just on sand. Yeah, it's just sand and it goes all the way around the corner there. I don't know how further it goes. We'll go for a bit of a look. Mm. But, um,. Even if you just got to here, like you get the full effect of yeah. how pretty it actually is. I don't feel like I'm missing out if we don't go all the way in. No. Nah. Like this, yeah, wow. Really cool. Definitely worth the walk. Yeah. Well, we're only just going a little bit, eh? Yeah, I'm just going up to the road. Just watch your footing. <laughs> yeah, true. Pretty cool, huh? Mom. Hey, Jack. Wow. Make see where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. No, we weren't going to go any further. We're going to call it here. Because, well, this one's not too bad. It's not too deep. The next one. But can we just go through this one? It's up to you. How high is it going to go? Oh. That is cold, babe. Oh, I can't go how cold that is. What's it say? You want to light it up? Jack, can you turn the light around? 
deep water risk area. Only proceed past this point if you have strong swimming ability and level of fitness to swim a minimum of 20 meters in cold water in the dark. You have a waterproof torch with a minimum one hour battery life and you have others with you and your safety is our concern but your responsibility. Ooh. Attention. And this is the bit where I stop. <laughs> Not that I couldn't. But look, there's nothing. You can't see a thing. I'd be able, I want to do it. I want to do it. Yeah, I know you would want to do it. Jack, is this cool? Is this cool? Is it good? Yeah, there's water and more. <laughs> it's cold. Oh. No, I don't encourage you, mate. You end up falling in. It is very cold. So, at the moment we're in pitch black, but what you can see there in the distance is natural daylight. So that's looking back on ourselves now. I wonder if I can zoom, hang on. Yeah, so there's the entrance. Looks pretty cool on here actually. It's hard to focus on it and keep focused on it, but you get the idea. And I'll show you on the way out some artwork that some people have shown us, which is pretty cool. Follow Dad. Yeah, you keep going. I'm coming. I'm going to follow you, Jack. Are you tired? You having a rest? Are you ready for your morning nap? <laughs> this is good, this is good. You'll sleep in the car. So where we're standing in this little alcove, if you look up, you can see artwork. I'll try and zoom in for you. Jack! What are you doing? It's cool. It's slippery, hey, with the sand. Yeah. Jack, Jack, hi. Well, overall, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. It's actually, um, I don't know, it was, you don't know what to expect, obviously, until you get there, but like from what I've heard and how good people said it is, it's actually really is that cool. It is really cool. Like if you ever been a chili goat or if you've never been a chili goat you should check out one of our episodes when we went there and you'll understand exactly what we're talking about it's like big cave systems yeah like the landscape of the rock is just incredible it's yeah it's oh. really cool it was a good experience yeah definitely come in this for way, Jack. A, if you're driving in or driving past definitely recommend it because it's not far at all it's like with the kids like it yeah. was a piece of cake there's nothing to it. It's not far of a walk. We obviously didn't do the second portion, and that's where you swam. So yeah. apparently that's deeper than us. Um, but in there, you kind of swim and then go around to the left, apparently. And down there, there was freshwater crocodiles and other stuff. But it's also pitch black. So you, yeah, need, you definitely a torch. need lights. Yeah. Um, it would have been cool to do, but obviously, I, I'm not keen with just, Jack. Yeah, I just. A little restrictive with Well, kids. imagine as well if he had to come out of a floaty or something, and I can't see in the water. Like, oh, I just. Not keen. Yeah. But yeah, we managed most of the walk and Jack's walked it until now. He's just starting to whinge now. Yeah. That's because he's due for his sleep about half an hour ago. I'd rather whinge now than when we were just going in. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. We've got two hours drive, which means he's probably going to sleep for yeah. that. So I'm glad. Dirt ride too, which is his absolute favorite. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good corrugation. Oh, yeah. We're heading north and we get crafty at the free camp on the Tanami Road. While the kids give dad a haircut, I also trim up Jack too.
we head to the Wolf Creek Crater and teach you our quick and easy Japanese katsu curry before taking a walk up the crater's edge and droning this unusual landscape. <laughs> 